Cheaters beware. <laughs> well, we all know the legal drama a divorce can bring, but could your side piece end up in a lawsuit? Well, here to answer that question is divorce attorney for some of the biggest celebrities. I'm talking Kimmy K, Johnny Depp, Angelina Jolie, and a Anna Ferris. Well, please welcome attorney Laura Wasser to the show. Really a pleasure, Laura. Thanks for having me. To the point, Laura, can we really sue the mistress? Most of us can't. There are only six states in the U.S. that still have these. They're called alienation of affection laws. And this is a law that is from like colonial times when women, wives used to be property. And so it was only men who could sue other men. And, and they can also sue their mother-in-laws for alienation of affection of their property, which was their wife. And somehow, I guess it's Hawaii, New Mexico, Mississippi, South Dakota, and Utah, and North Carolina still have these statutes. Um, I think that they probably will end up going away. Most states I would think so, Laura. Yeah, most states are no-fault <laughs> yeah, little... states. But this seems like an end run on the no-fault. And it seems like it would be a huge evidentiary burden to be able to prove what you need to prove for one of these lawsuits. Laura, what do you have to prove to okay. be able to meet this criteria of alienation of affection? So I actually studied this because I was fascinated by this when I read the article. You have to prove that there was a marriage and that there was existing love and affection in the marriage and that it was destroyed and that it was destroyed by this other person, that they came in and they took it away. So if you have a guy or a girl that says, well, I wasn't really feeling it anymore for my wife or husband anyway, then you wouldn't be able to prove that. So you'd have to, that's why there's this huge evidentiary burden. How can you prove how somebody felt? So they bring in cards and letters and they you know, show oh. the Instagram accounts of what a great time the married couple was having on vacation. And then the person who was cheating said, well, of course I had to pretend like I was having a great time on vacation because I didn't want her to catch me cheating. So Vivica, I'm going to you. So what do you think about suing the mistress? I hope it doesn't get to that, but. <laughs> well, I, I think that's what that bitch gets. Cheaters should never win. <laughs> Is that they legalese should. right there? <laughs> no, I do this. You know, listen, I just, I made it real. It's like, if you find out someone is married, that is just off limits. It's not going to start happy. It's not going to end happy. It's just messyboots.com. And I just, if that mistress, uh, if she wants to be broken up, and especially if she knew that, you know, he's married. Oh, yes. Open up your pocketbook. I'm dipping in there because you took away from my vacation time, holiday time, some dinner time, some gifts. So I need to break even. <laughs> I actually think that that's a very practical way to think about it, Vivica. You're like, you know what? In this case, an eye for an eye, right? You really do yes. need to get whatever it was that you lost, your time, your youth, your your affection, and you waiting around for your hubby to come home, and then he yes. never comes home, or he comes home the next day. I mean, that's a lot of emotional distress as well. And I know that that's a term that gets thrown around in legal cases as well. It's like, you made me suffer. You made me suffer. And these people suffered because of these affairs. I think it's interesting when the mistress then marries the ex-husband and as a result of having some kind of a judgment against her, he has to pay again because her money is his money now. That's, I knew you'd like that one, Vivica. Look at Vivica. Oh, I know it. I know it. Like, okay, look, get both of y'all. Nice Thank play. you. Well, Laura, it really has been a pleasure having you on the show. Will you come back again? Anytime.